It's been quite interesting in these here YouTube streets on today. I first heard some drama between Hassan Campbell and Zaza Ali. Now, honestly, I think that there was another female that did not like what Hassan Campbell was saying. She got kicked out of the room. I believe that she went and got Zaza Ali. She came in the room and went crazy on Hassan Campbell. Complete and total disrespect. Now, in my own humble opinion, Hassan Campbell was telling the truth. There's people that may not like Hassan Campbell, but there are times that he would kick some truth and people don't like it, mainly black females. If you look on YouTube, YouTube is full of videos where black females are trashing, constantly trashing black men. And no one stands in defense of men. But yet when men speak out against black females, then it becomes a problem. Now Zaza Ali came in there saying how he was uh, disrespecting black females and how he was dropping the F-bomb and how he lowered the frequency. She, in turn, did the same exact thing that Hassan Campbell was doing. She started cursing up a storm. F this and F that and F, F this and that. And the other. This is why I don't trust these so-called conscious black females. I really don't. They hide behind consciousness. And I spoke in the past about how... It appears that black men can't have things to themselves where black females always want to be a part of what men do. Like, you take, for example, the football game, sports, basketball games. There was a time where when the game came on and the fellas came by and they're watching the game, they're drinking their beer, eating their chips, or doing whatever. The women would go in a separate room. The women will hang out with women. Now we have it where women want to sit with men and watch the game. Then we had the so-called black conscious community where you have a group of men that would um, build together. They would debate with each other. As time went on, here come these black females. They want to debate too. So it seemed like black men can't do anything where there's a black female that's ready to destroy it. Now, I don't mind uh, black women and black men getting along. I mean, they should get along. They should be able to come together and build. But we're two separate species we have two different ideas you have these women that at one time you had the manosphere now you had have the woman fear you know we had the he-man women haters club i'm making this up from the little rascals then you're going to have the he-man the he woman the she woman man hater club Right, So men can't have anything, black men can't have anything where there's black females that always want to put their two cents in. And it always create friction, it always create drama. Look at the so-called black conscious community now. There is so much drama among them and the, the drama and the friction is coming from black females arguing back and forth, side net of this, and then you have these dudes dropping these females naked pictures, and these females are sending these dudes these pictures, and then these females are now making videos. It's just a bunch of drama, a bunch of mess, a bunch of division. So whenever black men come together, there's always a black female that want to stick her head in there. Just look at a bunch of celebrities. In the boxing ring, when you have these boxers, they have their entourage. Or even rappers. 
you always see a group of black females in the mix. They always want a piece of that. Next thing you know, these dudes are brought up on lawsuits, sexual harassment, but they always put themselves with men when they really have no business there. Women refuse to hang out with women nowadays. The only time black females hang out with black females is when they trashing black men. Other than that, they come among you and they create drama and fiction among dudes. They come in among you, call themselves debating, and next thing you know, there's a bunch of arguing and, and fighting and debating. Now, the situation with Hassan Campbell and Zaza Ali, this is another thing too. When Zaza Ali, when Hassan Campbell was talking, they kicked Hassan Campbell out. So that left Zaza Ali to express herself. After she finished, she says, you know, what, did he run now? And then she mentioned about the devil fleeing, right? When they kicked him out the room. How could the man respond when they kicked him out? They wouldn't allow him to finish talking because they didn't like what he had to say about black females basically being careful who they allow between their legs. And he was talking about how females open their legs up with any dude. They're producing these demons that's causing all of this, this friction, this murder in the black community. And he was telling the truth. Because if you listen to a bunch of black females, they would tell you, my body, my choice. When a baby's born, they're quick to tell you, it's my body. So they have the right to abort that child or keep that child. The man has no say in nothing. If he says that he's not ready to raise a child, they're going to say he's no good. He's a deadbeat. You was mad enough to make this baby. Be mad enough to take care of the baby. But if she doesn't want to have that baby, she either leave the child at a fire station or abort the child. But if she decides to keep it. She makes his life a living hell. She can take him to court for child support. He's paying out all of this money. He's going to jail. And in this day and time. All she has to do. Is name him as the father. She's, she's picking and choosing. Who she wants to be her child's father. It makes no difference if he has sex with her or not. She has sex with a bum and then she picks and chooses her baby daddy, put another man's name on the birth certificate. He gets a court order to come to, come to court, child support. He don't get the notification, whatever reason, he doesn't show up. Now he's named the father by default. And the court system refuses to move his name. He may go to paternity court, and we see it all the time, where these females are trashing these dudes. He needs to take care of that baby. He don't buy nothing for my baby. And she always personalizes it, my baby, because she knows it's not his. And then after it comes back that he is not the father, they still use his manhood to make him feel guilty to take care of another man's child. A real man will step up to the plate. They're not going after the deadbeat. They're, they're trying to tag him. If you're man enough, you're going to take care of this man, this other man's child. Forget about that man. And then when it comes down to it, well, do you know who the other man is? Yeah, he's either in jail or he's dead or he's a bum. He doesn't want nothing to do with the child. So she picks and chooses who she wants to be her baby daddy. And nothing is done to her. She destroyed this man's life. She put this man out there as a deadbeat. And then when it comes that it's not his child, then she doesn't even give him an apology. I apologize. I was wrong. She don't say that. Well, I've been taking care of him all my life by myself. I'm just going to continue. 
I'm glad he's not the baby daddy. Then why do you have him in paternity court trying to push a baby on him that's not his? See, but again, Zaza Ali, she came in talking about how, how Hassan Campbell energy was low, low vibrations, but yet she was using the same language and energy that he was using. She was talking like a man. And then you had the amen crowd, these black females, after Hassan Campbell was kicked out, they're talking about, all right, that's right, that's right. Now they got some, they got a spokesperson to speak in their behalf. See, now when it comes to Tommy and that female on fresh uh fresh fish, fresh fish, <laughs> fresh fit. It's mind-blowing at the number of dudes that was valid, that was, that was okay with this female punching Tommy. She stood up over him. I don't blame Tommy for standing up because if you got this violent person and you had a dude that came there and was holding her back, Tommy sitting down, she threw the mic at him. And then when he stood up, the dude was holding Tommy back and she hauled off and cocked him in his jaw. Now, I always have an issue with people. Listen, if somebody, if somebody attack me, don't hold me. And then you give them room to throw a punch at me. They can hit me in my face, but I can't go back at them. Because you're holding me. You're holding me, but you're not really holding that person to keep that person from attacking me. So now you have everybody talking about how Tommy was attacked and he was beat up by a black female. No, that's assault. Because if Tommy, if it hadn't been the other way around, then it would have been he assaulted her, lawsuits, um, they would have said he's less than a man for attacking a woman. You hit a woman. You hit a female. And listen, they keep talking about that situation that happened back in New York where this dude um, made a... That was a punk move, in my opinion, where it was crowded, and then the dude came up out of the crowd and barely touched Tommy, and then he going to run. And the dude wasn't by himself. Tommy don't live in New York. So this dude was with his crew. He like snuck Tommy and then going to hide in the crowd. They're holding him back. See, and you got people that use that to this day. Now, I really don't care too much for Tommy. I don't like a lot of things he do, a lot of things he said, but right is right. Yeah, the man runs his mouth, but a lot of these dudes that run their mouth at Tommy and laugh at what happened in New York, and now laughing at what happened on uh, Fresh and Fit, these same dudes, if they met up with Tommy in person, would not have the heart to do that. They would not have that heart to attack Tommy like he was attacked. But they're laughing and validating this female, giving this female like, oh yeah, he attacked her. Um, she attacked him. She gave him a couple of, she gave him a two piece, right? All this nonsense. And they were holding him. Tommy should have knocked her out. Now, I don't, I've never in my life put my hands on a woman. Never been in a situation where I had to. I think women can look at you and tell who to mess with and who not to mess with. Right? And I shared before, like, coming up, there's females that like to box with you and play around with you and punch at you. I look at them and don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. And they'll back off. Oh, you so serious. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because at the end of the day, I'm a man. Right? And I, I felt that this female, like they say to dudes, oh, you can't handle talking. You got to put your hands on her. She couldn't handle talking. You know, regardless of what he said to her, they was talking. They was going back and forth at each other. And she couldn't take it and decide to assault this man. And you got dudes on YouTube that's happy until 
a female assault them. And then they then there's a different story. What if that happened to a lot of these dudes out there that's that's validating that, that's cheering her on, that's that's gotta have her on their podcast and you know, and oh, you hit them and she's on there lying. Now, it's a thing between them. I think Tommy probably hit the girl. You know, he probably hit it. You know, he smashed it. Right? And she want to talk about his, his private parts, think. How you know? According to her, she smelt it through his pants. Dudes usually don't, you know, that's usually women. Women, their, their scent kind of seeped through their clothing. I don't think that's the case with men. You know, so um, in order for her to know that his private parts stink, she must have had her face close enough to it to know that, to say that. Right. And I heard some people say that, you know, she somebody told her that. But she said that she smelled it through his clothes. But why was your face that close to his crotch? Right. But I just I just felt the female was wrong. Because she couldn't take words. And she was calling him nigga. She was talking about. She was calling him nigga. And this, nigga this and nigga that. And he called her a B. Right. And she hauled off and, and swung at him. And she didn't think to swing at him. Until somebody else was there to hold him back. When they was holding her back. And then they was holding Tommy back. Then she swung. You saw her fist go. And it looked like she connected. See. And now. You got all these people praising her. Dudes are praising this female for assaulting Tommy because they don't like Tommy. Okay, so if a female assaults you, we expect you to walk away and not call the police. Because if it was the other way around, she would have called the police. So he's supposed to take it. He's supposed to take that assault from her. Oh, now he's a punk because he said he's going to call the police and report her. Although they were arguing, he didn't put his hands on her. And I felt she was wrong for that. I don't care how much I disagree with Tommy, that female was wrong. And for these dudes out there, Kwame Brown, all of them dudes that's, that's talking about like, oh, he's a punk and he this and he did this and he said that and he did. Listen. All of us, I mean, I don't trust a lot of these black females out there today. I really don't. I really don't, you know, and, and, and I, I just don't, I don't know. No, because we're different. We're dealing with an entirely different species. And I've, I've made videos about that in the past. These black females nowadays are not the traditional black woman. This is an entirely different spirit that we're dealing with. An entirely different entity that we're dealing with. It's almost like we're not dealing with humans. We're not. I sit back and I look at these females. They got tattoos all over their neck. All over their shoulders. Down their arm. On their chest. In many cases on their face. And then they got these, these, these face piercings on their lip, nose, bones go through it. Who would want something like that? Honestly, who would want something like that unless you're in lust and you just want to have sex and then she get pregnant and then like Hassan Campbell was saying, you're producing these demons that you can't control and that grow up without a father. You got these dudes out there validating the, the drama of these black females attacking these men aggressively when most of them don't take care of their kids. Their children grew up without them. They've lost kids or sons to the street. Their daughters don't respect them. Their women don't respect them. And what we saw this female do to Tommy, man, it happened to a lot of dudes, man, where these females assault these men and they're supposed to just take it because they're men. That's how the system conditioned you to be. The system conditioned you to be that in the name of manhood. 
So now you have to take a beating from a female because that's a female. And don't call the police because if you call the police when she assaults you, then now you're a punk. But you got to take care of another man's baby. She can just pin a baby on you and you have to take it if you're a man. Not just a man, but if you are a real man. You have to be a real man. If you ain't a real man, then, uh, you know, because you don't take care of another man's child, you are not a real man. So someone can just pin a baby on you, put your name down, never touch her. But because you don't show up in court now, by default, you're the father. And she's not interested in you building a relationship with that child. She only wants the money. Which doesn't even go toward the child. It goes in her pocket. So she can club it. She can use that money to club. Her nails, her hair. To buy her clothes. To live a hoochie lifestyle. So anyway... I'm way off the topic, but that's my, that's my opinion, man, on Hassan Campbell and Zaza Ali. I never really cared too much for Zaza Ali. Um, I don't like everything Hassan Campbell does or talk about, but there's a lot of times Hassan Campbell is right on the money, man. He's correct. And this thing with Tommy Sotomayor and this black female on Fresh and Fit, she was wrong. She was wrong. She should have never put her hands, just like men are told, you know, you don't put your hands on a man because of words. If it hurt you that much, you got you should have brothers or cousins or somebody who can who can deal with Tommy on that level. But you as a woman, you don't put your hands on no man. And there's a lot of guys right now locked up behind bars. Or in their grave behind a female, behind her drama, her mess. See, that's why I, I really don't believe that female should involve themselves in men affairs. If you got dudes hanging out, you know, uh, debating with each other, uh, watching the game together, them females need to keep their behind in the kitchen somewhere. And I know this is going to upset some people, man. In other words, you know, you need to mind your own business. You need to get with your girls and go hang out somewhere. Instead of being around a bunch of men. Trying to be a man. You know, so that's how I feel about that, man. So the female was wrong both case, both occasions, man. And, you know, you got these chicks on there, man, that, 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 that would go get Zaza Ali. Oh, you need to come. And deal with Hassan Camel because he's talking greasy. And then she comes on. Don't know really what's going on. She come in only on part of what he says. And then she goes off to uh, make her little clientele feel good. Because now she's speaking in behalf of women. I don't trust these females that call themselves conscious. Because they're unconscious. Especially if they're always talking this feminist nonsense. So... Feedback, tell me what you think. Subscribe. Till next time. I'm fearless.